Did y'all know my original plan was to study psychology? It's Unfinished Wednesday and I am feeling good. How have you been my unfinished fam? It's your girl, Dr. Jones or Chelsea for short. Over the years, I've been asked a lot about why I chose math and statistics. So I'm gonna answer that question today with this video. If you haven't already, join the Unfinished Family by subscribing to this channel and following me on the socials. Let's start with when I realized I was interested in math. I found out early on that I liked math, but before I found that out, I detested it. As a kid, I was pretty hyper and had trouble focusing. So during instruction time, if I wasn't kept engaged, then it was hard for me to learn and I would get frustrated. Around third grade is when we started learning the concept of negative numbers and really getting into division. At this point, I was just not understanding. My school recognized that some students were having trouble with this math and began pulling us out during instruction time to learn the concepts using fun math games. Now, I don't remember my third grade teacher's name, but I do remember Miss Albritton, who sat and played these games with me, which blossomed my love for math. It was this experience that I realized that math can be enjoyed and not just encountered in the classroom. By the end of elementary school, I was considered advanced in math. Imagine that. I went from being taken out of class to understand the math to being called advanced in math. Huh. Interesting. Anywho. In middle school, we had class schedules, so this made it easier to place me into math classes that fit my learning level. I started high school math in the eighth grade with taking algebra one and chose to apply to the Leadership Center for the Sciences and Engineering, LCSE program at Norview High School. All right, this is where everything starts to come together. I got into the LCSE program after passing the entrance exam on my second try, and I was in there like swimwear, taking algebra two in biology in my first year. Why is it important for you to mention what science you were taking? Because to remain in the program, I had to maintain a 3.0 or higher in my math and science courses, which were advanced placement courses specifically for students in this program. That leads me into my 10th grade year. I was taking pre-calculus and chemistry. Please take notice how I hadn't taken geometry yet, which in many cases is a prerequisite for pre-calculus. Needless to say, I was struggling in both of these classes and ended up falling below a 3.0. I began questioning my math skills and before the end of the year, I decided to drop out of the program before having to experience the humiliation of being kicked out. Even though I felt defeated and like I wasn't smart enough to be in STEM, Ms. Heron, the teacher that I had for pre-calculus, really encouraged and inspired me to keep trying. I think it's important to mention now that Ms. Auburn, the person who sparked my interest in math, was a black woman. And Ms. Heron, the person who wouldn't let me give up on math, even when it got hard, was also a black woman. I'm gonna let that marinate for a little bit and then come back to it later. So in the 11th grade, I was out of the specialty program, but I was still aiming to get an advanced diploma. So I took geometry because I had to and chose to take AP statistics. Okay, random? Not really. To get an advanced diploma, I had to have four math credits, algebra two, pre-calculus, geometry, and statistics. Geometry was geometry, just another math class, but AP statistics, that shifted my paradigm on what it meant to learn math. Before this class, learning math meant that the teacher led the lesson, the students sat quietly absorbing the information, and there was a crystal clear hierarchy with the teacher at the top and the students falling below. Well, Ms. Trendy's AP stats class didn't really follow this trend. The class had more of a discussion feel to it. She would give us the information that we needed, but then we would have conversations about it. Honestly, it was a bit strange at first, mostly because it was a pretty diverse class when it came to personalities, meaning most of us probably wouldn't even talk to each other outside of class. This environment felt good. It made me feel like I could connect with other people through math. And now I'm gonna tell you exactly what it was. It was my first experience having a math community. 
From this point on, I continue to associate the feeling of belonging and enjoyment with statistics. But wait, didn't you say you almost studied psychology? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Well, in the 12th grade, I ended up taking AP Psychology, had a good time, and so I applied to colleges as a psych major. After getting accepted into Virginia State University, I took a campus tour the summer before my freshman year. During the tour, I visited the psych department, which happened to be one floor below the math department. My guide took us to the math chair after I had mentioned that I was interested in statistics. Dr. Bernard, AKA Dr. B, who was the chair at the time, gently suggested that I consider their actuarial science track. Honestly, he said it was the second best job to have in the United States, which in 2012 it was, so I decided to change my major that same day. Everything so far led me into math and statistics, but the last decision that I had to make on statistics was about my PhD. If you don't know, I ended up picking up computer science as my second major during undergrad. By my senior year, I had enjoyed it so much that I decided to apply to some PhD programs in computer science. That's a pretty short story to tell. Although I had a couple of really, truly amazing computer science professors, my overall experience in the major wasn't as great as with statistics. So of the 10 PhD programs that I applied to in my senior year, two were computer science and the rest were either applied math or statistics. Now that everything is done marinating, let's bring it all back together. Why did I choose statistics? You've heard the long answer. The shorter answer is that Miss Albrighton ignited my interest in math, Miss Heron inspired me to continue pursuing math, Miss Trendy shifted my paradigm by having a stats community, and Dr. B exploited my interest in making money. <laughs> JK, Dr. B was awesome and just nudged me in a direction that I was already leaning. But the shortest answer is that representation and amazing educators heavily influenced my decision to pursue statistics. These series of events are the major headliners of why I chose to study math and statistics. And of course, there are other people and experiences that helped me along this path. As I talk more about my PhD journey, you'll get to hear more about them. In the meantime, thank you for quelling your curiosity on why I chose statistics. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon.